Hello and welcome to Prime Update on Van Television. My name is Ujineka Amadi. Top stories trending in Africa. Monas flocked in their tens of thousands to South Africa's central government buildings on Friday to pay their last respect to Nelson Mandela on, their, on the final day of his line in state in Pretoria. Due to the crowd wanting to see Mandela's body in the Union buildings, the government asked all of us to stay away from the park and ride facilities set up to take mourners to the area. Pretoria government said it could not guarantee that every person who was presently in the queues at the various centres would be given access to the Union buildings, as over 50,000 people were still waiting at the park and ride points. Winding queues snaked for kilometres from the government side, patched on a hill overlooking the city well into the heart of the capital. The body of the 95-year-old South Africa's first black president was lying in state for a third and final day before being flown on Saturday to the Eastern Cape for a funeral on Sunday at his ancestral home in Kunum, south of Johannesburg. Over three years after 72-year jail term in Kirikiri Maximum Prisons, Lagos, Nigeria, for contract splitting, the Supreme Court in Abuja on Friday reversed the conviction of the former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Olabodi Judge. The Epos Court judges, headed by Fulabi Fabi, in their judgment ruled that the charges of contract splitting, on which the EFCC arraigned and secure the conviction of the politician was unknown to the law of the land. In the same vein, an Abuja High Court also set free former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nasser El Rufai, of charges of abuse of power during his tenure of office. The court gave its verdict Friday morning as a written El Rufai of criminal charges. The former FCT minister was charged under the Corruption and Other Related Offences Act 2000 for using his position to corruptly revoke a plot of land from its previous owners and reward same to his family members. The People's Democratic Party has asked the Abuja Federal High Court to sack its five governors who recently defected to all progressive Congress. The defected governors of Ahaji Murutala Nyako, Adamawa State, Rutmi Amechi of River State, Ali Wamako of Sokoto State, Rabiu Kwakonso of Kano State, and Abdul Fatai Ahmed of Kwara State. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was also listed as a defendant in the suit filed on behalf of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, by senior advocate of Nigeria, Alex Izion. In the suit, the PDP argued that the governors should be sacked on the grounds that by their defection, they had forfeited their offices. In the event that the governors are sacked from office, PDP wants the court to order the deputy governors or speakers of their state houses of assembly to assume their positions. The party in the same vein asked the court to make an order mandating or directing the houses of assembly of Adamawa, Rivers, Sokoto, Kano and Kwara states to commence impeachment proceedings against the governors. And in business, the Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, FAC, has shared a total of 675.7 billion naira as statutory revenue allocation for the month of November. The Minister of State for Finance and Chairman FAC, Yeriman Gama, said total revenue available for distribution among the three tiers of government, including the value added tax, VAT, Collection of 91.730 billion naira was 675.7 billion naira. He said gross revenue receipts for the month stood at about 597.5 billion naira, which was higher than the budgeted figure of 465.057 billion naira by 25.708 billion naira and more than 443.052 billion naira. Allocation for October by 58.199 billion naira or 47.7%. All the details of the allocation also showed that mineral revenue was 490.765 billion naira, while about 56.998 billion naira was transferred to excess crude revenue 
Petroleum Profit Tax BPT, and oil royalty accounts. Also included in the allocation for distribution was NMPC's refund of 7,617 billion naira and 35,549 billion naira proposed for distribution under the Subsidy Reinvestment and Empowerment Program (SHOP). Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation (NMPC) Andrew Yakubu has described the letter by the Central Bank Governor Sanusi Lamido Sanusi to President Goodluck Jonathan on the purported missing $49.8 billion as a mere political instrument which, meant to ridicule, which was meant to ridicule the corporation and its management. Yakubu made this known at a news conference in Abuja. The NMPC boss said the CBN governor was born out of lack of understanding of how revenues from I food oil sales are remitted I want to take you from the accounts. Uh, he explained that the corporation is not in the business of reporting uh, any that oil that receipts that is our GM media relations. Accounts. Clearly that the allegation is unfounded, is baseless, and it has become a political instrument in the current politically charged environment, an attempt, and we consider this as an attempt to ridicule NMPC staff and the management of NMPC. We will continue to keep our operations in high integrity and transparency, and we're available at any point in time to reconcile numbers as we do in our operations. Thank you. That is the more you can take on today's edition of Prime Update. Thank you for watching. My name is Ojinika Amadi. Bye for now.